it's, it's a really wonderful uh, thing to be able to present this project here that you'll, that you'll see. Um, before starting, though, I'd like to highlight a few relationships that are already um, showing themselves. We heard Okui and Westward talk about the relationship between labor and slavery. That's really essential, I believe, for this project. Also, Amy Goodman highlighted the, the military history of the very site we're standing on, right? The Arsenale as, as, a, as a military site. And that's also something that I hope you will see at play in the, in the project. Uh, we also heard in Amy Goodman's presentation the pain and suffering that nations conflict, both by the state violence you know, of that nation that sees itself as being from above, but also the pain of trying to create a nation. And this is something that is at, also at the heart of, of this project. Um, what uh, we are presenting here at the curriculum at La Biennale di Venezia is a project called Abstract Nationalism and National Abstraction. And that's a whole series, a larger series of many years. But for this context, we created a new version which is called How to Know the Protocols and Pedagogy of National Abstraction. And what this version consists of is 48 flags that you will see being used in this performance that opens the summit and another one that ends the summit. But uh, through the next three days, you will see these 48 flags in the, in the space next door. Those 48 flags combine all countries that exist in the world. Each flag combines four countries. And it's done alphabetically. So you can imagine some countries probably would not like to be fused with another flag. So these are what they call the flag fusions. Uh, tomorrow we will see what I call a flag modulation, which is a video in which flags slowly turn one into the other, uh, along with a musical track. But what is very, very wonderful, uh, for, for me at least, and I hope you will enjoy it too, is that we have an entire live musical ensemble who will perform the musical dimension of the project. Uh, it's complicated enough to fuse four flags without one country taking over, which is one of the conceptual you know, rules of the project. But imagine doing that in music. So what this fantastic ensemble will present is anthems that have been composed specifically for those groupings of four. We don't have time to listen to all 48 compositions, as you can imagine. <laughs> we only have time for one. So this is composition number 20, and it consists of the countries of Indonesia, quite interestingly, right? We didn't plan it. <laughs> uh, Iran, Iraq, and Ireland, in that alphabetical order. Our ensemble is Craig de Almeida, who is playing the keyboard, but is also the composer of this particular composition of the, the series. And uh, in the, in the, we, Rodney Winecoop is conducting. And uh, you know, for, since they're not standing in alphabetical order, I have to think clearly. Where, you know. uh, <laughs> Fran Newark is singing the, an the anthem of Indonesia, but sung in Persian. Why? Because Persian is the language of Iran that follows you know, Indonesia in the alphabet. right? Uh, so Larry Speakman, standing next to her, is singing the anthem of Ireland. But Ireland is sing he's singing it in Bahasa Indonesian, right? Because these groups loop back into themselves. Cameron Aiken, our tenor, uh, is singing the anthem of Iraq, but in English, right? Because Ireland follows it. Now, you can think of the implications of that, perhaps. And, you know, uh, Erica Dunkel, will be singing the, the anthem of uh, uh, Iran, but in, in Arabic instead of Persian. Again, something quite provocative perhaps, at least for those who are from Iran, but many Iranians then again speak Arabic, so it's, it's not such a big deal. So I hope you enjoy this performance. We will also have a curricular guard, and uh, I thank our curricular guard members. They will do a performance along with the music and then lead us out uh, to the break. Okay, thank you.